getting you this one a little late. Sorry about that. I had to help a friend move, and then afterwards, I was like, let me just lay down for a couple hours. Just a couple hour nap. <gasps> What happened? So yeah, a little tardy on this one. Can't wait till I'm 95 so people can just stop asking me to help them move forever and I can stop having to say yes. Anyhow, let's talk about this movie you've been dying to hear me talk about. Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. Which when I look at the title, it looks like it's saying Tom Clancy is Without Remorse. <laughs> Regardless, Without Remorse stars Michael B. Jordan. It's based off of a Tom Clancy novel from the early 90s. So you know, governments, agents, soldiers, spying, espionage, foreign relations that might go bad. Oh, you know, it's that movie though. It has the added effect of being a revenge tale as well. Which <laughs> brings me to, all right. Let's talk about what I like. Michael B. Jordan. I thought he was great in the movie. One could say and would be correct in saying Michael B. Jordan totally made this movie. Not in that Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow totally made Pirates of the Caribbean The Curse of the Black Pearl. You know, where the movie's still fun, but you know, that one character and that actor totally made it. No, no. Michael B. Jordan's the good part of the movie. Michael B. Jordan does more for this movie than this movie ever does for him. Though there were a couple of effects in terms of executions and style. I, I thought there were some stylistic things in this movie. I thought they looked good. Whether it be someone getting taken out, a stealth takedown, explosion that felt impactful. I thought this movie did have style. Example, there's a scene where this plane's going down in water, it's in the cabin, they're all trying to get out, and the cabin's turning because it's going down. So the entire set of the inside of the plane is turning. I thought that was cool. Which is my way of saying is this movie is a cake. Maybe the cake looked good, but the cake itself was just generic bullshit. I use a lot of cake metaphors in my reviews. Though we all know the cake is a lie. If you can't relate it to food, it's just not relatable. The problem with this movie is like you've seen it a hundred times before. Maybe back in the early 90s when the book was written, maybe it was groundbreaking. Which is kind of unfair because just because it's based off of a book doesn't mean they followed the book. I don't know. I haven't read the book. But how many times have we seen that? It's based off of a book. It's like, that is supposed to be that book? Sure. So who knows, man? I heard the book is good. At least Amazon reviews say it's good. But I'm not an early 90s Tom Clancy thriller novel enthusiast. I'm a 2021 moviegoer and video gamer, which is to say I've seen everything in this movie done before and done much better. I also throw out video gamer because if you want to see a story where these people are soldiers and they feel like they're tools of the government, and they very much are, that play Metal Gear Solid. I thought this has to be Metal Gear Solid, but you know what I'm saying? Everything in this movie we've seen before, like right down to the revenge thing. How many revenge movies have you seen before? Where it's like, oh, family was killed. Soldier has to go rogue. Right. And you see the plot coming a mile away. Okay, this might be spoilerish. Do you care? You don't care. If you were gonna watch this movie, you watched it before Sunday. So is, this means you're not gonna watch it. Right, so my point is when you cast Guy Pierce in a movie like this where there's clearly some douchebag behind the scenes, maybe it's some traitor to, don't cast Guy Pierce, cause we just know. Why? Because the casting is just too perfect. You can't be that perfect in your casting. We've all seen Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> I haven't seen something this obvious since Brad Dourif in Alien Resurrection being the creep scientist. I guess we weren't supposed to know he was a creep scientist, but he was Brad Dourif, so out the gate, we were like, yeah, weirdo. So let's continue. Same thing with Guy Pierce here. Maybe for somebody who doesn't watch a lot of movies or just like, I don't know, I was ordering potpourri on Amazon Prime and here it is. This movie was suggested to me because it is in fact on Amazon Prime, in case you were wondering. Maybe they'll be like, wow, haven't seen anything like that because I haven't seen a movie since the Bush years. Then no, no, Bush Jr. Bush Sr. For the rest of us, I feel like you're gonna come out of this movie like, okay, so it feels like it's borrowed from this, 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 and this, which all came out after the Tom Clancy novel. But since we're talking movies, that's where it matters. It's gonna be like this. You're not gonna remember it in T minus one day. Yep, already forgot. All right, so Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's your favorite thriller movie? Maybe it's a revenge movie. Maybe it's a thriller movie. Maybe it's a political espionage movie. Maybe it's a foreign relations political. <laughs> <laughs> political espionage movie. What's your favorite Tom Clancy story that doesn't have to be a Tom Clancy story? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. <laughs>